Hello everyone, Madison here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will be talking to you guys about my work and what's happening currently. Um, also, before we get into to the um, video, I've had a question saying if I can do an MPLQ first aid video. I will do that. Send me all your questions in that you would like to know about first aid about the MPLQ first aid in so I can answer your questions via email or message or anything and then I can make a video about it because there are other people out in the world that would also like to know the same answers to the questions as you would so then it gives me a chance to like you know elaborate a little bit more and you know create more MPLQ content because my MPLQ videos go down really well on this video. So, um, yeah, let's get into this video. So, in the UK, we were able to open, like, restaurants, like, eating in restaurants and everything on the 18th of May, especially for my restaurant. Because if you're new, hi, I'm Madison, I'm 19, and I'm a waitress in a pub slash restaurant. And it's a pub, restaurant, and b and as well. And, yeah. Um, we open on the 18th of may so that was tuesday i believe yes it was tuesday and um it was really really busy as anyone could probably tell i'm also working tonight which is probably why i'm speaking a little bit fast because i'm trying to record record this video and upload it as well as doing everything else like charging my phone and trying to get ready but um yeah there's a few things i want to clarify as well being a waitress yes no one thinks much of it because a waitress and waiters are you know they serve you food and all that no big deal that's all they've got to remember and all that but but We've got to remember so much. So please be patient with us. Stick to the rules. Stick to the guidelines. Our rules are one metre distance. And whatnot. We also. Just to clarify. I don't know if this happens in every single restaurant. But we have plastic visors. And. Um, with these plastic visors. They limit us to, like, so we can't use our normal talking voice like I am now. I have to, you know, proper, not not shout it, but on the verge of shouting it. And um, if I say, sorry, can you say that again for me, please? I don't mean, oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. It's very hard to hear with those visors. And very hard to talk to people as well. And also, when you don't have, like, your coffee order with us, that doesn't mean... this. I speak on behalf of all waiters and waitresses. That doesn't... If you're waiting for your coffee order, that doesn't mean saying to us every five seconds, where's my coffee? Where's my latte? Where, where's our drink? Because... We've got to do coffees. We've got to take rum plates back and forth to the kitchen. We've got to serve tables with their drinks. We've got to make the drinks. We've got to take orders. We've got to check tables. We've got to do pot wash as well. We've got to, you know, make sure everything's okay with everyone before we're able to, you know, figure out where we are. And with our restaurant, there's three of us working every day well as a waiter or a waitress and there's three of us working in the 
kitchen and we need everyone to i don't know i don't know if that's happening with every restaurant but we need everyone to please be patient with us that goes for every single job because it may be your day off but we it's not our day off like because the because like so many people have booked i have to work on my day off i have nothing against that because you know it's more cash for me but i we don't open on mondays and but i should still have be and be able to have a day off like i work so this week I'm working literally every single day apart from Monday. We weren't opening on Mondays anyway. But that doesn't mean, like, you know, everyone come on your day off and all that. Yeah, you may have a day off this, that, there and the other, but... There's other days in the week. But again, I'm not one to complain when you want to come in and whatnot. Like... If they need me, they need me. Um, but yeah, I just want to elaborate the fact that, like, also, this one's directed more for the Karens and everything. Just because we don't have something that you want doesn't mean you can have a go at us. Every job is stressful. And just because we're not serving you first doesn't mean you can throw a hissy fit like especially in restaurants you're all in if you're in a restaurant and you make a complaint about like where's my order your food will get to you when your food gets to you we can't we can't you know make stand near the cook others and cookers shouting them to hurry up because they won't like the cook, the ovens, cookers, microwaves, go at their own speed, and sometimes, like, you know, so I don't know if the, again I don't know if this happens in every restaurant, but like with us, because there's normally two people taking orders, so there would be like at least four two four six eight there will be so many tickets excuse me for food orders in the kitchen and they they focus one by one i know like having three chefs in the kitchen everyone's gonna throw hate and be like oh yeah they should be doing one table each doesn't work like that we work if we if they do one by one and work through it that way then it's quicker because more people are working on one order and you know that's how they want want to work and that's how they feel comfortable doing it also there is so much we can do to help you if something's wrong with your food that is not the waiters or waitresses waitresses fault so the reason why we try and talk to you calmly is because we don't want the grief that we, that, you know, we don't need. Like, I know there's going to be so much people coming at me over on my DMs, but I couldn't care less. There is only so much we can do at a time. Like, I'd love to be able to help everyone all at the same time and all at once. But there's only so much we can do. We've got to clear tables, do pot wash, make sure the kitchen is stocked up on plates and all that. We've, like, I don't have any experience in any other job apart from my job, my current job I do. But please stick to our government, stick to the government guidelines, stick to the rules, because. I don't want to be in another lockdown, thank you. And, yeah. Even though you guys may be like, oh yeah, we won't end up in another lockdown, this, that, the other. Who's going to be laughing in your face when you're wrong and we're in another lockdown? 
definitely not me. Or definitely me, actually. But, um, yeah. I would just like to make that very clear. And also, if you know where I work and your planner number on the table, I've put this on my Snapchat as well to let people know that we've opened back up. If you know where I work and you know what days I work, don't come in there to wind me up or get me fired or anything. Because I, I will get so annoyed with you. Um, that's all I want to say. Um, again, any further questions, please contact me on my social medias, basically. Um, again, I, this isn't waitresses or waiters related, but I would also like to say... Um, with the going back to the first aid of MPLQ, feel free to message me with your questions on MPLQ first aid because then I can answer your questions as best as I can. I can make a video and elaborate more on it. It should be not this week, not next week. It should be at um, I think, hang on. It should be in another, it should be three Thursdays time. So there will be three more videos. There will be this and uh, this video and three more Thursday, three more videos. And then my MPLQ section three. No, two more videos, sorry. Yeah, two more videos after this one. And then the MPLQ one. So, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions whatsoever. But, yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I went on a rant. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and I shall catch you later. Bye!